friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, we are going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to do a curly hair competition. Now, as you curly people may know, we have a lot of natural words that we either made up or actually exist. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering on how many other people outside the curly hair community actually know what these words mean. So, I have my contestants right here, and we're going to see how well they know our curly hair words. On my left is someone that you might have seen from my Snapchat, Devon, a man who probably doesn't know much about curly hair. I, I don't, I don't know much about curly hair <laughs> at all. And I, I, I don't know. Do I need a fun fact? Sure, give me a fun fact. I usually have footy socks, yes. but today I have regular socks. I am sorry to have let you down. You did. You did let us down, but maybe you'll make it up if you win this challenge. And to my right, I have Louisa, someone who loves to read, but does she read mm -hmm. these curly hair terms? Hmm. I don't think so. We'll see. I have straight hair, but I am Louisa. My Instagram is louisa.sharamatian. <laughs> Let's get started. So I need you guys to clear your boards. And I'm going to ask them On your for the mark. definition of this curly hair. Well, that's one way to do it. It worked. I'm going to ask them to define some of these curly hair words, and whoever gets the most points will win. Are you guys Yay. ready? Yep. I'm always ready to win. Ready. Let's do this. Word number one. What is a TWA, or what does TWA stand for? <laughs> this about is so bad. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Ready? No, yes. no, no, no. No, give her a minute. Devon, we'll start with you. What does TWA stand for? Tiggers with attitude. Tiggers with attitude. I like it, but that is incorrect. Okay. <laughs> and Louisa. I'm embarrassed, but okay. Texture with air? Texture with air. How would that work? <laughs> <laughs> I was under a time crunch, so. So what type of texture does air have? I feel like we have. I don't know. Whatever the curly hair needs it to be, I don't know. Oh. T W A actually stands for teeny weeny afro. Teeny oh weeny. Oh my god! I should have thought of afro. Wait, wait, hold up. Somebody abbreviated teeny weeny. <laughs> teeny weeny afro. So if a girl just cut her hair and it's very small, then she has a T W A. There's, there really... has to be another professional term for a you small guys, like... afro. What about a natural? No. That could be any size. Next word. No poo. Huh? Well, that's obvious. That's self-explanatory right there. <laughs> what <laughs> is no poo? You know what? Let me think outside the box. I can't. There's only one thing I'm thinking about with this. <laughs> I'm write it down. Okay. <laughs> Louisa, what is no poo? No poo is no additional products. Hmm. Close? Kind of close. But not really. Damn Come it. on, what is your answer? It's pretty self-explanatory. When you're not allowed to poop. You're not allowed to poop. That has nothing to do with curly hair. <laughs> People with curly hair poop too. <laughs> no, we don't. We have never pooped They're ever. not human. You've never pooped? No, as a girl, we don't poop. Or fart. Yeah, obviously. That's a rule. So moving on, uh, no poo <laughs> does not mean that. You know, it does sound like that, but no poo is when you don't use any shampoo. Oh. oh my God. Yes. Got Next it. Word. Got it. Ready. The pineapple. Oh, I should know the, this. Yeah. Another self-explanatory. Uh. You know what? I got it. I got okay. this one. I know you I love pineapples. Y'all should know this one. Well, I love pineapples fruit. too, but for other reasons. Okay. Um. Wait. Mm. Pineapple. <laughs> I know. I will even give you guys a clue. How about this? Uh huh. The verb version of the pineapple is pineappling. Okay, that, that didn't help me at all. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I... The pineapple is when you put your hair up into a pineapple shaped design. That is very what? good. You know, before I, before I, you know, say too much, uh, Louisa, what did you put? An updo, and I even draw an right updo like a hair bun. You know, I'm gonna give you both the points. Yeah. Finally, we have some points on the board. Yes. The pineapple is a hairstyle that a lot of curly girls do. It is an updo that you put on the very top of your head that okay. resembles a pineapple. So if I put all my curls here, it I look like a pineapple. That, that looks nothing That's like a That's why you love that. I'm sorry. Product junkie. Pretty self-explanatory. What is a oh. product junkie? Louisa, what is your answer? Well, I think a product junkie is someone who knows every product uh, related to curly hair specifically for today. 
Okay, okay, okay. And Devon? Well, a product junkie <laughs> is when you overdo the amount of products you use, like an addict. That's probably right. Hmm. I wrote all that. Use the amount of products. I even use parentheses. I almost want to give either of you guys the point. You both are really close. How? Okay. But, okay. Here's what the definition. It? The definition of a product junk junkie is someone who buys every curly hair product ever made, That's me. and they're like just have a huge collection. They have to buy whatever comes out. So they're an addict. They no, are but that knows every product, so that's me because and I they, specifically put curly. But do they, they don't just know about the products, they actually buy all the products. They are addicted. But did you mean overdo like they put too much? Yes. I don't know, just the yeah. amount of products you use. You overdo the amount of products you use. Okay. I don't know, you but use I have too much. To give the point, I'm gonna have to give it to Devon. Because mm. you're addicted. <laughs> if you're a junkie, you're fine, addicted. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Two points, two points. Whatever. Two. What's the score, like 10 to zero right now? Yeah, it's more like two to one. All right, don't, so. Don't, don't be coffee. mean. Get off your high horse now, ladies. <laughs> right. Testosterone is taking over the show. What are band two? I know this one. What, what I know it? this one. Thank you, oh black women. I know this one. I don't, I don't know, know how this. to describe it, though, but it's a, okay. Band two? Knots. Um, <laughs> Knots, nah, heard of it before. <laughs> Bantu knots are a hairstyle similar to Nakia from Black Panther. Ooh, very nice. And Louisa? Uh, a tangled part of your hair, like when you have knots. Hmm. Close? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I see where you were going with that, but Devon is actually Ooh. correct. Ooh. It's embarrassing. Ooh. Bantu knots Ooh. is a protective style that you put little Scary Spice also did it. They're like, it's like yeah, that's all that's all I thought head. of that. The next word is Big Chop. Oh, my God. oh we know what that is. What? Big Chop. So these are actual terms. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Real, made up in the natural hair community, but they're real to us. Big Chop is when you take a big portion of your hair. When you take, take a, a big portion, like to style. Oh. And, and where do you put it? What do you, what do you, what do, you well, do with it? Whatever your style is, like get a brush, you know, take a big portion, tie it, mm -hmm. curl it. Okay. Taking a big chunk, like a big chop, mm -hmm. out of your hair. Do not laugh. Stop okay. it. Not laughing. Great. Good answer. Uh, Devon. When you finally cut off a large amount of your hair. That is correct. That is what a big chop it's is. It's close. But you're cutting you, you wanna, it off. You want to wipe that off for me real quick? If you could just <laughs> <laughs> a big chop is a very monumental moment in a curly girl's life because she might have a lot of heat damage, so she has some straight straggler pieces, and the only way to get rid of that damage is to cut it off. So you might cut it off so much that you might get a TWA. Can I can I Natalie add something? Yes, yes. Usually big chops involve tears afterwards. Sometimes. Oh. But then you rejoice for the new growth. If it looks good. It always if looks not, good. If not, then you're going back to buying wigs and stuff. I'm sorry. Co-wash. What is what? co-wash? Co-wash. I love how difficult this is for you guys. <laughs> co-wash means using a few products combined to wash your hair. Interesting, and Devon? Um, when you wash your hair with a friend. <laughs> oh! That's what I thought too, though. <laughs> kind of like when too. you go to a restroom with a friend where you're like, girl, come with me to the restroom real quick. That's girl code. You, you always pee in front of each other. I, I like, I like wait, both of your, your answers. Wait, in front of each other? They don't care. You just sit down. You're on the phone and they're peeing. It's the same thing. So y'all don't like close the stall door? I uh, personally don't, but uh... Leave me. Some girls, if you're close to them. <laughs> These are both very good answers, but they're both incorrect. Co-wash is when you just wash with conditioner only. So you're skipping the shampoo. You don't need to do a whole clarification. You're just ah. doing some more moisture, some detangling. So you only wash with conditioner. Then that, whoever Ooh, made that wait. word does not know the diction of co <laughs> and washing because that makes it dual, okay? Like cooperate. You can either operate or you can cooperate with someone. Why can't they put con wash? Like Because then you're wash. washing convicts and you don't want to do that. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different, I mean, you might like it. You like peeing in front of people. <laughs> that might be your thing, Louisa. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, you're awful. <laughs> dusting. What, your hair? What is dusting your hair? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. Um, I don't even know. 
sprinkling a substance into your hair. Oh, like, like not too much. Like crop dusting, dusting like you feather dusting. You looked at my answer. Oh, okay, and Louisa? Sprinkling. Oh. Not the same right, thing. What is your answer? Sprinkling some powder to clean your hair. Interesting. I like where you both were That's going. That's so with that. weird. Great minds. Great minds. minds. Incorrect. There goes the butt. What's the butt? What is dusting? Dusting is when you get the smallest type of haircut on your ends. Just a little bit, just to make your hair extra healthy. So that is dusting instead of trimming your hair. And you hair. pay for that? You're out sprinkling. That's, how did you know? I, we, that's great minds think great alike. Minds think alike. Great crazy. minds think alike, but they're both wrong. So we that <laughs> What's the use? Okay. <laughs> Next word. Pre-poo. Oh, okay. I know this one. Oh, oh, I know oh, this one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it's when you poop before. A, no, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, I got it. Applying shampoo, possibly dry, before a procedure. Applying shampoo dry, like on dry hair? No, like dry <laughs> shampoo. Oh, dry shampoo. Yeah. Oh, like before the spray. a procedure. Like a hair procedure. I don't, I don't know what the word for a hair thing. <laughs> like a hairdo, hairstyle. Before a hair, like maybe you're gonna, I don't know, do something with it. But before <laughs> the procedure that you're about to do with your hair. Got it. Okay, okay. Louisa. Skipping the conditioner process. Skipping the conditioner process. Pre-poo is the step you do before shampoo. See, I thought that. But you're not applying shampoo. Then it's what the are you? Step before, before that. The, it's the step before. Then what do you do before the shampoo? <laughs> Pre-poo is the step before your shampoo, meaning you could use like coconut oil to add some moisture to your hair, so that way when you shampoo, which usually removes that moisture, it doesn't take out too much. So it's like a safe step before cleansing your hair. Process. Wow. It's a process. It's, it's a process. Hair, it's a process. Protective styling. Oh, I got this. What is protective styling? Does it involve karate? I was thinking Taekwondo. Well, protective styling is when you apply serums on your hair before it touches heat. Curling mm. or whatever, you, right? Just so, okay. just so your hair doesn't get damaged in the process of getting styled. So it can be, you know, a spray or a serum. Got it. <sighs> Putting your hair in a specific Style to ensure growth. Ooh, what what is that? that? That's actually correct, is what that is. Really? Right. <laughs> Putting your hair oh, in oh, style ah, to ensure whoa. growth. Protective styling could be something like bantu knots, putting your hair up in a bun, okay. doing braids. Those types of things will protect your hair from heat, from the weather, okay. from sun, from damage, which also can help with hair growth. <laughs> Were you guys reading this while she was talking? <laughs> I know. It's, it's the simplified Well, I'm deleting version. while you're reading the other one. <laughs> what is, and Devon, don't be afraid of this one. Okay. Shrinkage. What does it mean? What does um, shrinking mean? Let's see. Uh, shrinkage. Well, it was cold. I'm not just <laughs> Shrinkage is when you put gel on your curls so it looks shorter. Oh, put gel on your curls so that it looks shorter. Like, just more like scrunched up versus long ones. So you put the gel on there so that it can look shorter. Exactly, like you just, you know, scrunch it up. Okay, Devon? <laughs> when curly hair gets wet, it tends to shrink. <laughs> tends to shrink. Um, unfortunately, both are incorrect. It's actually the opposite of what you said because when our hair is wet, it's usually longer. Oh, yeah. And when it dries, Crap. it shrinks up. I knew it had something to do with water. I just didn't know if it was yeah. wet or if it was not wet. So, for example, this is how my hair looks, right? But technically, my hair is all the way down to here. So that is definite shrinkage because it's not really that long. I mean, You're that's right. short. I messed I up. Love your I thought hair. I had it in and I didn't the remember best where. hair, I swear. <laughs> Hands all up in there, huh? <laughs> yep, that's how you do it. All up in there. That's how you do it. What is slip? Um, oh God, these are so hard. I mean, I know how to slip. Turn around, let us see. To wrap your hair overnight in the cloth, so in the morning you take it out of the slip, and it's out of the slip, the cloth. Is oh, the slip. Sl so the slip is the and cloth. And it's nice and soft in the morning. Okay. The slip is the cloth. Like a silk wrap. I exactly. Okay, Devon. When your weave slips off the track. <laughs> Like mine's gonna do it right now because it's like when your weave slips off the track. Very creative. Um, I was closer. <laughs> it could happen. It could. It happens all the time. 
Um, not the correct answer we're looking for. Mm. Slip is what we call it when your conditioner detangles very easily in the shower. So, so if your conditioner has good slip, it's really easy to detangle. I was Whoever's so making off. these words just is not giving I, the right I definitions can't. to the right <laughs> wordage. You're not I giving can't. the right <laughs> Slipping on over to the next word. Exactly. Wash and go. What is a wash and go? <laughs> I think that's a car wash. <laughs> that's a but trick question. Because it does not mean to wash your hair and leave the house. It probably means something else. Wash and go. Wash and go. Wash and go. Yvonne is not ready. <laughs> not ready. I'm Lisa, ready. what is your answer? When you just wash with no products, it's just water. You the water, water dash. Yeah, you just leave the house. Water and go. Should be called water and go, right? <laughs> okay, Devon. I don't know. Simply getting a quote unquote wash <laughs> and leaving the salon. Not getting the full hair procedures. You and your hair procedures. Well, I, what are they but called? Hair got a salon techniques, now? hair situations? Hmm. Between the two, you're closer. Uh, it doesn't have to be wet. Simply washing. Wait. What? It, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying, <laughs> to, I was trying to get, I'm trying to get close. I'm trying to get close. I'm trying to get closer. So a wash and go is when you just wash your hair and you put on one styler and you go. So, no, I can't give it to you. What? Because you do it at home. So, it's not something you do at a salon. And it means you're not doing braids. You're not doing bantu knots. You're not doing anything complicated. You're just getting out the shower, putting in one product, and go. You told me not to put full sentences on here. I'd put all that on there. And your quotation marks. I tried to mark. simp it. What is this Look thing? at his grammar. Leaving. L-E-A-V-I-N-G. Oh, so you added the salon part. With my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So should I go with your mouth answer or your written answer? You know, that's what, what Warren Buffett does. Washing and leaving. Okay. What we will give you the point. You know what? Washing and leaving. I don't want to beat Warren Louisa Buffett. too bad. So just don't give He's me the point. He's not beating me. <laughs> okay, no point. No point. No point. Okay. No point. I'm doing that for you, Louisa. Starting fresh. Because he likes me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our last no. answer. No. For all the money, we <laughs> say you're ready. This all the hair the products I'm gonna get in the mask. <laughs> the last word. What is a nappy versary? What? <laughs> That's a term. Okay. Happy nappy versary. Happy nappy versary. That sounds so off. My voice? No, no, I'm sorry, not the your singing. voice. The <laughs> singing. Not your voice, that turn. <laughs> no, that's a no. Okay, um, here we go. The last word in the curly dictionary. What is nappy versary, Louisa? The last day you had straight hair. The last day you had straight hair. Okay, great. And Devon? That ain't finished. Sounded pretty good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, the anniversary of when you found a style that helped you ease away from true nappiness. <laughs> ease away from true nappiness. I guess. Okay. Nappiversary is the day you decided to go natural, which means no longer straightening your hair, which is pretty much means your last day of straightening. Me! Yay! Do you see that, Devon? Look at that. This is the face of a winner. Well, now let's go over the score. Her final score is Louisa with two and Devon with five. Congratulations, oh. you are the winner of the Curly Hair Dictionary competition. Come on, let me give you your acceptance speech. Who would you like to thank? Uh, well, I would like to thank you for having me and showing me certain things about curly hair that I'll never use. Um, <laughs> and also all the women in my life that have helped me learn <laughs> a lot of these terms. But I'm not thinking the person that made co-wash. Oh. It just doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> co-wash, that is a duo washing something. So there you go, we did a full competition on straight hair versus a man that doesn't care about his hair. And the man came out victorious. Thank you guys so much for playing for this game. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. You also can follow me so we can be curl friends on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And follow my lovely contestants. I'll put their information down below as Yay. well. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Curl friends. You're cute. <laughs>